The way that we describe things in terms of percents is really the same way that we describe things in terms of fractions. What do I mean? Well, we might say, for example, that two-thirds of all students did their homework. If there were 21 students, how many did their homework? Well, two-thirds of all students. That means two-thirds times the number of students. What about two-thirds of all students? That's how many did their homework. Right, so this fraction of phrase is referring to a fraction of all students. We can think of the number of students as being the base in this problem and the ones that did their homework as being a portion. Right? When we say two-thirds of all students did their homework, we mean that all students form a base and a portion of them, two-thirds, did their homework. So in this problem, two-thirds times 21 is 14. 14 students did their homework. We could instead say that 30% of all students did their homework. Obviously, that's a different fraction than two-thirds. This is a different problem. If there were 20 students, how many did their homework? Well, this phrase percent of, again, means we're going to talk about a fraction of all the students. 30%, that's the fraction 30 hundredths. We'll take 30% times the number of students. And that tells us how many did their homework. 30 hundredths, I think I'd rather write that as a decimal. 0 0.3 times 20 equals uh, 2 times 3 is 6, 0, but one digit after the decimal point. So just six, six students did their homework. So whenever we're working with a percent, our first question should be percent of what? So what are we taking a fraction of? Therefore, what should the percent be multiplied by?